Hey, hey. Oh, yeah, skitty, uh, <laughs> skitties. City Skyline 2 did come out today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've already got plans for tonight, though, and it won't be cities. Thanks, Galloway. Yeah, Nintendo made a uh, interesting statement today. So, we'll go over it. I've got plans for tonight. We'll start with some wacky stories and what's going on. Hey, Caleb. Thanks to the sub Manic Maurice in November. And thanks, Student Debt. <coughs> and Mint. And Raven. Hey, Silly Goose. Any plans to join in on the $10,000 Ghost Runner 2 speedrun challenge? Perhaps. Maybe. Did you fuse chats? Yeah, I'm all good on chats now. So I should be able to see everything. Thanks, Sky. Do you see the Star Citizen news? Oh, right, here, I'll pull that up. About Squadron 42 being content complete. I did see that. Or, well, close to content complete. My day's been alright, haven't done too much. Welcome, Maddie. Nintendo's always doing something silly. We'll, we'll get into it in a moment. Excited for the claw machine? Same. It should be very soon now. Hey, SML. Hey, you told me that like a week ago, I think, right? I'm not sure, Denzel. I'd have to really think about every voice acting role I've ever heard. Hey, Adam. What's your all-time favorite bad game? All-time favorite bad game. I'm not sure, but my all-time favorite bad game night game is Agent Roswell. I think that is just a perfect stinker. <clears throat> and congrats on graduating, Chris. Is there supposed to be a sequel to Ghostbusters Afterlife? No idea. I don't know the music genre, squee. And thanks, Daniel. Hope you like it. Speaking of, I saw your amazing performance as Kane in Lovely Complex. Thanks, yeah. I made my anime voice acting debut. We did that, a, like, a year or so ago. Caught me with a jump scare when it came out. What do you mean cameo? I carried that whole show. Lovely complex. More like lovely Charles voice acting. That was all me, baby. A performance for the ages. Thanks, Chrono. Did Putin have a heart attack? I didn't see anything about that. And yeah, I, I started simulcasting YouTube and Twitch last stream. We got it all figured out, so doing that again.
Did you see how shitty City Skyline 2 is? Did they fumble it? What's wrong with it? What went wrong? Ooh, it's got bad reviews. It's not 60 FPS? Wait, what? The target is 30 FPS because of the nature of the game. Arguably, there are no real benefit in a city builder to aim for higher FPS, unlike a multiplayer shooter, as growing a city with inevitably will inevitably become CPU with inevitably become CPU bound. What matters more with this type of game is to avoid stutters and have responsive UI. For that reason, our simulation is also built around an expected update rate given 30 FPS. However, it does not hurt to get 60 FPS as it contributes to better visuals in relation to the temporal effects. So while our target is 30, we don't intend on limiting or stopping optimization work just because we reached... Okay. Interesting. Thanks, Matt. I, I'm not going to say that about Jay, but thank you, Jay. Heard some even 4090s get under 20 FPS. Eek. Big stinky. So besides the 30 FPS, what else is bad about it? Ghost Runner 2 released today. The er Yeah, no. I'm very well aware. I've got a whole plan tonight, and it does involve some Ghost Runner 2. And thanks, Chimera. Thoughts on the pilot who went crazy recently? There's a video of him hacking the barrier with an axe. News to me. I haven't heard anything about that. That's a shame if they really did fumble it. I think Cities is a great game. Thanks, Jacob. When was the last time you cut your hair? Uh, like two and a half weeks ago I got the dead ends trimmed. I did just get out of the shower, yeah. Thanks, Beans. Thanks for the sub, Dizzy. Did you play Cities on stream? Uh, only like once or twice. Long, long time ago. Yeah, I've got the Nintendo shit up right here. We'll go over it in just a second. Thanks, Pirate. What's your favorite song from Tool? Vicarious. Are you going to play Mario Wonder? Not on stream, I don't think. Initially, I was thinking about streaming it, but I think that's just going to be a game I enjoy on my own privately. All my friends have been going crazy about it. There's a tier 1 Spock. And the resub Thar. Hope you had a good lift landing. Do you only air dry or do you blow dry at the end? I just air dry it. I dry it off with a towel and then just let the let the rest air dry. The way our ancestors did it. They didn't have towels. Hey, it wasn't my... I wanted to stream Spider-Man 2. It just it didn't work, and I'd just been playing it on my own. I don't want to just, like, start streaming in the... Well, now, towards the end of the game. Doesn't make any sense.
You see the Squadron 42 held, I held the line trailer demo. Looks great. Yeah, I've got it up right here. I haven't seen the trailer, but I did see the announcement that it's almost content complete. Here, I'll check out the trailer. Oh, it's 26 minutes. Oh, that's like more than a trailer. That's like a fucking full Let's Play. Jesus. Archangel 6, come in. Go for 6. Michigan football cheating scandal I don't know anything about. Yeah, got it. Scanning that. Some turbo and Krusky. And Marsh. We're clear. Commercial vessel out of Vega 3. Provided that the civilian traffic is restricted under lockdown. Copy that. It's feature complete. Now it's into polishing. Let me see some of the game plans. Now, we have just passed the major oh. milestone. Squadron 42 is now feature complete and has entered its polished phase. To celebrate this milestone, we while allowing us to tell the story of the world around you. Better than... I got, I mean, do what you want to do, man. It's not like I have a problem with furries. <laughs> Let it rip. Just don't be, uh, don't be weird. The military multi-tool is an essential piece of equipment for every pilot that it's integrates that all attachments into a single handheld device and allows us to create really interesting challenges, including physics-based puzzles using our updated rope tech. It's been so long, I don't even remember. What kind of game is Squadron 42? Leave it, they said. Both. Good. He must focus on that smaller character sequences. I could have pulled this off of the Galactopedia. Yeah, probably, but I think their solar travel. mass calculations are wrong. It's not really like a genre, unless you mean like a spaceship well, simulator. This is ridiculous. How so? We are now able to adjust our shot composition to final cameras thanks to recently crafted space vistas and level art being content complete now. It'd be nice to know how much of a shitstorm we're flying into. I bet all or the like actors forgot blue. they were in this or game. It's been fly in development for so Shut fucking up. long. Is there some trillion feel bad? We're working to support a feel of authenticity through world traversals, running, this just me of jumping, and climbing. Interactions with objects and the environment. These are some bubbling Marty and Bojangles. <laughs> Ooh, that's gonna hurt in the morning. As we yeah, I mean, I'll definitely play it when it comes out. I am shocked. Absolutely shocked. That it's coming out at some point. That it's feature complete. That blows my mind. Happy birthday, bro. Let me read some Cody. Anything, Sergio? No, I'm not a huge fan of King Gizzard. It's like, all right. Friday beers went ghost hunting while getting drunk and apparently caught evidence, I guess. <laughs> There's no such thing as real evidence of ghosts or anything. But that sounds like it'd be a banger video. Oh yeah, I love Better Call Saul. So glad you're enjoying it. I think it's a masterpiece. What do you think about the Alaska Airlines pilot high on magic mushrooms while flying? It sounds like he's unfit to be a pilot. And congrats on the sobriety, Sasquatch. I don't have like a crazy take on that. Probably shouldn't be doing magic mushrooms and flying. An insurance company leak? No, I don't even know what you're referring to, Unwavering. 
And have you seen a cheeseburger milkshake? I've had a chicken tender milkshake, but never a cheeseburger milkshake. Is it this? Have oh, we got- <laughs> Wait, this is Ray William Johnson. That's so OG. He's been killing it on the shorts recently. I see him pop up every now and then. On too far. What the hell is this? Who is this for? Imagine being such a fat turd that you have to drink your milkshake through a cheese- Kind of cool idea, I guess. You said this isn't American? Are you sure? This must be like American inspired at the very least. This is some patriotic shit. Star Citizen really- well, yeah, I mean, Star Citizen is actually somehow <laughs> making strides into getting to completion, which blows my mind. Burger. Do you drink your beer through a slice of meat lover's pizza, you damn glutton? By the way, this isn't even American. This restaurant is in Colombia. They're trying to out America America! <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'd try it. I'll stick with the chicken tender milkshake if I ever need something disgusting. Or I ever need to vomit. You still playing Group Iron Man? No, I've, I've just been grinding the normal account, and then I maxed it, and I've taken a bit of a break. Hey, Hydra. You see the video of the taxi driver getting robbed, but then sped up, and the robbers started begging to get out? No, that's a big brain strategy, though. I think the tier one vivid. That is actually such a big brain strat. Thanks, Ethereal. <laughs> I've got no good advice, Oliver. As long as he's having fun, I think that's the most important thing. Ooh, thank you for that, Allison. That was sweet. Appreciate it. Thank you for the big drop. The Alaska pilot turned off the engines and nearly killed everyone on board. He's being charged with 80 counts of attempted murder. Holy shit. Alaska Airlines off-duty pilot pleads not guilty, talked magic mushrooms after allegedly trying to cut engines. Said he was having a nervous breakdown. See, this is something that I've always had in the back of my head. It's not like the root cause of my fear of flying. But, like, you never know what kind of person is piloting that. I remember there was a story a long, long time ago where, I think it was Germany, a German pilot decided he, I think it was even the co-pilot, decided that he wanted to commit suicide. He waited for the pilot to go to the bathroom, locked him in the bathroom, and then crashed the plane into a mountain, killing everyone on board. It's like you never fucking know who's actually up there. And that's scary. You seen the Sniper Wolf ban, ban evading situation? I've seen some of the, the claims and evidence about it. It's not per se ban evading, but it certainly would be a violation of the rules, I would imagine. We can talk about it in a minute. And favorite Gears of War is Gears of War 1. Joseph Emerson was charged after an incident on Sunday where he allegedly tried to turn off the engine of a plane traveling from Everett, Washington to San Francisco. The airline says he unsuccessfully attempted to disrupt the operation of the engine. So what stopped him? Did the plane fight back? Wow, he kind of looks like James McAvoy. Emerson pleaded not guilty on Tuesday. <clears throat> to state-level charges including 83 counts of attempted murder, 83 counts of reckless endangerment, and one count of endangering an aircraft. He was sitting in the flight deck jump seat. He's also facing a federal charge of interfering with flight crew members and attendants. Alaska Airlines said Emerson was unsuccessful in shutting down the engines by engaging the fire suppression system. The fire suppression system consists of a T-handle for each engine. If the T-handle is fully deployed, a valve in the wing closes the shutoff fuel to the engine. In this case, the quick reaction of our crew to reset the T-handles ensured engine power was not lost. Okay. So the rest of the crew stepped in to stop them. Heroes. And congrats for that, Pity Pat. And thank you. And soon, Desperado. 
wasn't a pilot, it was a passenger who was also a pilot. Well, it, it's not a passenger, right? Isn't this a, what did they say? He was in the jump seat or whatever the fuck it was called. God, I just read it too. Where was it? Son of a bitch. Yeah, jump seat. There it is. He was sitting in the flight deck jump seat. I don't exactly know what that is. I'm not familiar with the anatomy of a plane, but I imagine it's pretty close to the controls. Probably more so than a pilot. Or, more so than a passenger. Above it says off-duty. Yeah, yeah, I know he wasn't the pilot. I, I know that. Federal charging document state Emerson told police he didn't take any medication but said he was depressed, adding it was his first time taking psychedelic mushrooms. Prosecutors also say Emerson told law enforcement officers he was having a nervous breakdown and had not slept in 40 hours when he allegedly tried to shut down the plane's engine. I didn't feel okay. It seemed like the pilots weren't paying attention to what was going on. They didn't. It didn't seem right. Yeah, I pulled both emergency shutoff handles because I thought I was dreaming and I was just going to wake up. Fucking frightening. Christ. He tries to blame the pilots, that's crazy. Well, I mean, they forced the, the mushrooms down his throat. It's clearly their fault. They weren't, they weren't paying enough attention to his mental state. Well, glad it didn't end in tragedy. But yet another thing to put in the back of my mind about how scary flying is. Awesome. Is it going to be moist meter for the Five Nights at Freddy's movie? Oh, of course. Oh, is that the salt shooting gun, Ethan, for cockroaches? I did see that. That's old. Come on, the odds of that happening again are astronomical. Yeah, but it only takes one freak incident. <laughs> like, that's all it takes. You don't get another chance. You get one dude on magic mushrooms who hasn't slept in 40 hours, thinks he's dreaming, shuts off the emergency tea handles, and then you're kaput. I'd be so mad. Thanks, Charlie. I have a flight tomorrow. But I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, I mean, I can spout all the statistics to you. It's like the safest thing ever. Does, does me no good. Maybe it helps you. I've talked about that a lot, Wayne. There's not, like, a crazy story behind it or anything. Thanks to the resub, David, in decomposition. And hey, Dragonfly. That's awesome. What's the idea of Rare Vibes? Thanks to resub, Carl. Do you like the Saw movies? I haven't seen all of them, but the ones I've seen, I've enjoyed. Not so much because, like, I think they're good. I think the first one is legitimately great. But I just think they're entertaining. And I do think the newest one, Saw X, was actually pretty solid overall. <clears throat> but yeah, the fran as a franchise, more misses than hits. I will show you one scene that I've been thinking about quite a bit recently after watching Saw X. It's actually like a really clever uh, escape from a saw trap. Um, God, what was the guy's name? Wh who was it? This guy. This guy. What the fuck was his name? Hoffman. Where's just the ending here? I don't need the full five minutes.
Um, just give me like the ending. Just that scene. His jaw still got fucked though. Yeah, but it was like really clever how we got out of this. It's something I would have never thought of. You put me in this situation, I'm super fucked. God, they only have the entire section. Here, we'll just do this. And I'll just skip to the end. Okay. So he gets strapped to the chair. He has the bear trap on his face. He breaks his hand so he can get out of the uh, the straps. And this is just like the classic Saw-ism where it's just the montage of memories and reveals. But yeah, actually super clever. He does do, he still gets his jaw fucked up, but he survives because of that. So he slams his head through the glass into the bars, so that way the bear trap can't blow his face off. Super smart. That was a great scene in an otherwise bad movie. Yeah, I read both Twitch and YouTube chat. I have them combined now, so I don't miss anything. Thanks to the resub, Dilly. And thanks, Confinding and Millie. Are horror movies your favorite? No, I think most horror movies are absolutely awful, but they're a lot of times entertainingly awful. I don't know, there's very few genres that produce as many fun bad movies as horror does. So I do have a soft spot for the genre. But I, I don't I don't think it's my favorite. The majority of the movies are trash. How are you feeling about the new Apex squad? Oh my god, we're world championship bound. Our squad is fucking disgusting. We're so fucking good. Waltzy, MT, Guild. So filthy. You hear about the kid who had the highest liked comment on Instagram that was telling him to go to Thailand and become a UFC fighter and he's doing it. No. I didn't hear anything about that. I mean, I don't know if that would solve it per se, Rare Vibes. They kind of already have that with, like, breathalyzers on alcoholics' cars. Thanks, Resub J. Where are you at in One Piece? Just finished Amazon Lily. So going into Impel Down. Yeah, we can talk about Nintendo now. So today they added some new guidelines. And um, they're interesting to say the least. <laughs> Very interesting. I don't think they're as bad as the community keeps making them out to be. Like, there's not any massive changes per se. They're just very, per usual, out of touch. So, like, one of the things that they don't allow now, or are saying aren't permitted is with or without license we'll get to the license thing in a moment you can't have like a charity tournament kinda and you also can't have an event that's serving food and beverage I believe is what it was 
But here, we'll just go through this. I haven't read the IGN article on it, so maybe it doesn't catch everything, but I'm sure it probably does. The guidelines posted on Nintendo's Japan and UK websites on Tuesday dictate terms for not-for-profit small-scale community tournaments involving games for which Nintendo owns the copyright. So, Smash events mainly. They would have to follow... It would be the terms that the organizers have to follow, allowing them to function without an official license from Nintendo. So these are the unlicensed events, meaning you don't need to go to Big Daddy Nintendo to suckle on their bosom to get their blessing. You could just run these, and Nintendo would just give you the nod as long as you follow the rules. So some of the rules. They can't generate commercial revenue except as permitted by these guidelines. There is a cap of 200 participants in person or 300 for online. Organizers may not receive compensation from third-party sponsors and may not sell food, beverage, or merchandise. Yep. No prizes exceeding a market value of 5,000 euros in total. No spectator fees for online tournaments, which is something I don't think anyone has ever done in the history of the world. How the fuck are you going to charge a fee to watch an online tournament? Like, like that, that just shows Nintendo doesn't even know what's going on. Unless I'm out of touch. Is anyone charging money for you to watch a Smash tournament online? And probably will update it that at some point, one kid. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Claire. Anything from Deftones. And good luck at the film school, Beefy. It might just be precautionary, I guess. And organizers must publicly disclose all accounting related to the cost of hosting the event promptly. So, th again, this is for unlicensed. I... I can't remember exactly what the rules were for license now off the top of my head. I still think there there was some harsh limits on it from what I recall. Or maybe there wasn't. Maybe I got them conflated. I read it this afternoon. Organizers can still hold larger for-profit tournaments, of course, but those would require a license from Nintendo, as was pointed out on social media shortly. <laughs> oh, shortly, before, shortly after the announcement, this means that larger tournaments that have already obtained licenses should be in the clear. Okay. So this is about like the concern from pros about not being granted a license because Melee is so old. And also they've historically shut down Melee things for less than appropriate reasons. What everyone had feared had happened. This mostly goes after ROM hacks. What? No, not tonight, Logan. I'm not going to be doing that. That has nothing to do with just ROM hacks. Unless you're talking about when they shut down Big House because they were using Slippy. Or I think that was Big House. One of them for using Slippy. You see the huge update to the Halo Battle Royale that dropped today? I have not seen the huge update if they changed it over the last couple days. Oh yeah, this is the head of Luminosity. He spoke up on it as well. Nintendo's new community tournament guidelines aren't significantly different from what we see from publishers and esports. I know everyone likes to immediately jump to doom and gloom. However, they've already made it clear that there is a path to a license for larger events. We'll see how the restrictions change with proper license proce with a proper license process and how simple that process is before assuming this is a net negative. Getting things more organized and processes in place is a good thing for the space if done correctly. So again, this is the guy who's the head of Luminosity. And Luminosity's been making huge waves in Smash. They have like fucking 50 players now. They own an entire tournament organizer. So they're very deep in it. Thanks to Tier 1 Wolf. I never played Cruise and Blast, Nick. And I watched the Scooby-Doo Courage crossover. Happy birthday, Thomas. Have fun playing Halo. Hope you enjoy it. Just listen to anything from Deftones, Claire. Give it a try. Mm. 
Bin ich bin keine. I mean, Nintendo is just super out of touch, man. It's been that way for many, many years. Many moons now. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you for that, scammer. I hope you have a great time on Halo. And Halo is looking promising. Agreed. Season 5 does look good. I've heard nothing but good things. One day I'll play it. Yeah, I combined both chats, so it's much more convenient now. Bad take from Charlie on what, Nintendo being out of touch? That's like the most well-documented phenomenon ever. They are not in the, in the modern age, or even close to it. They're like 20 years behind everything. That's like the coldest take I could ever give. I, it, check your other folders, Nicholas, because I feel like there's no way that there hasn't been a response. It's always been super prompt. You reached 1,500 hours in Fallout 4. Jesus. Well, glad you're having fun. And thanks, Cody. And thanks, Blunt. Any games today? Yep, I have a whole plan tonight, but I'm just starting with some of the, the wacky stuff going on, and then we'll move into the second phase. And not tonight, Geo. Thanks for that, Kyle. What are your thoughts about Ayn Rand? Really appreciate the big drop. I'm I'm not super familiar with who that is. At least I don't think I am. Do I know their work? I've read none of these books. So I'm sorry I don't have a strong opinion. Classic Nintendo. Yeah, but at least there was some kind of nod that there is a competitive community out there. Maybe with the license, if the licensing process is easy and not a headache, maybe this will end up being a good thing. But if it's extremely strict, extremely tight, like a lot of people speculate that it will be, then yeah, it's bad. These rules for non-licensed events are <laughs> very, very strict. Especially with this cap, a 200 part a 300 participant cap on an unlicensed online tournament kills online tournaments. Every online tournament has more than 300 people for the most part. So, I mean, that immediately just runs that into the ground. I don't even understand why. I don't know why that's there. There, there shouldn't be a cap for online tournaments. I don't know that hotel, Michael. Of course I'll play Tekken 8 when it comes out. Can we just run multiple online tournaments? I mean, that's a huge headache, but I, I guess. Uh. Did you see that it's not just a 5k, but 10k cap for an annual total? Coinbox hits that in like three weeks then. They're fucked. But no, I did not see that. And I've never heard of that anime before, One Punch. But well, One Punch Man I love. He was talking about a horror anime called M Mariku, which I don't know. And no, it's not, Pug. We don't do that. 
There's a resub commander. What did Nintendo hope to gain with this? I don't know. You could ask that question about a lot of the decisions they make. They just seem needlessly evil <laughs> when it comes to communi communities for their games. No, not at all really, Logan. Do you remember the U the Nintendo YouTube Partner Program? The Nintendo YouTube Partner Program. Oh, wow. In 2018, they pulled the plug on it. I don't remember this at all. Wait, what? Nintendo scrapped Controversial Creators Program. They had their own Nintendo-approved YouTube... Wait, so they've already done this for YouTubers. Like a license to create content around their games. I do not remember this. Huh. It was launched in 2015 and it would allow creators to receive 60% of the advertising revenue. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is such a Nintendo thing. They actually make EA look like saints. The program which launched in 2015 allowed content creators to receive 60% of the advertising revenue from videos containing Nintendo elect intellectual property, or 70% if they chose to designate their entire YouTube channel. <laughs> that's so fucked. Yeah, that is, uh, I mean, that's Nintendo in a nutshell, really. I do not even remember this. Thanks for that, Brina. You made a video on this? Did I? I mean, it's been fucking five years. It's been so long. I don't remember this. I remember when they did the um, uh, music stuff. When they went on their music rampage. But I don't remember the Nintendo Creators program. And no, I don't know Officer Bird. No, you don't have to apologize at all, Nicholas. Just tweet at it then. Just keep tweeting at it then. For sure. Like the actual account. And I'll ping it. Hey, no worries, Brina. Well, thank you for that. Read the next paragraph. It was created following criticism Nintendo was trying to claim YouTuber ad revenue entirely for itself, although the creators program brought its own fair share problems. When it was launched, approval services were overwhelmed, while YouTubers who wanted their entire channel approved were asked to remove any non-Nintendo videos first. YouTubers who didn't join the program had their videos demonetized, while those who did saw their revenue significantly reduced. 40% of advertising revenue from videos to Google, which meant the remaining 60% was split between the content creator and Nintendo. Classic Nintendo W. L looking out for the little guy. Use ad block. Trust me, if I could, I would. Every goddamn website in the world these days restricts your access to it if your ad block is on. So I can't even read the articles anymore, so I just turned it off. It sucks. I fucking hate it. Oh yeah, YouTube's working on their ad block stuff as well. 
I don't think it's rolling out anytime super soon. I know they're like experimenting with it. So some people are getting put in like the test group that can't watch without ad block turned off. I've seen that, but I don't think it's like fully rolling out quite yet. Hey, thanks for that, Emmett. Yeah, I hope you enjoy it. You see the trailer for the Squid Game, the challenge? No, I didn't. Did they put out a trailer for that? I remember when they announced they were doing like a real life Squid oh. Game. I, What's a good song? I was a little uh, perturbed. I'm not surprised. But uh, yeah, that is, that is super silly. Let's take a peek. Attention all players. <clears throat> it is now time for the next game. Please enter the game hall. It is still crazy how big this show was. What is this? Damn. Oh my god. Let the game begin. Mr. Beast did it better. He also did it in a much more timely fashion. Who the fuck wants to watch this? It's 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 already well past its prime. Survive. This is a savage game. And I won't give up this dream of life that keeps me alive. Feels so tone deaf. <laughs> uh oh, shit. Yeah. I mean, it's not unexpected, though. This it was too successful to not do this. has to be played with strategy. I'm gonna be your best friend. But I will absolutely double cross you. You can't trust anybody in here. This was open casting call. Any of you guys go participate? To eliminate. Where is Squid Games? Let's get real. Let's sink these ships. We are Did you? Team. Fuck no, man. Brightest light in here. People shoe colors are starting to come out. I gotta be free. I wish I knew. They made a ton of posts about this. The money is so. This is an actual game show or something? Yeah, it was. So what they're gonna show is just the recorded game show they already did. But yeah, it was an open casting call. So a bunch of people just signed up, I guess. Are they still coming out with a season two? Of course they are. Thanks, Iman. Should look up the Thailand UFC kid. Yeah, I can look that up in a minute. Nice, nice glibby. I would not pay to be in that. Well, you, you wouldn't be paying to be in it. You'd be a real goober if you paid to be in that. It was just an open casting call, so they'd choose you, I guess, if they if they liked you. I'm sure they'll keep making seasons until it's awful. Yeah, I mean, obviously, they're going to run it into the ground. I think season two is going to be atrocious. I think it's going to be fucking awful already. I don't think we'll get a season three or anything. It is. I think season two is going to be absolutely miserable. I heard it was super inhumane conditions during the shoot. I'm not even going to bother looking that up. That just sounds about right. <laughs> Don't know if it's true or not. But, I mean, if you're going to be accurate to the show, it's got to be inhumane. Thanks for that, Wind. That's just the way. That's the way you got to do it.
I think Spidey. Alice in Borderland better. I love Alice in Borderland. I really, really enjoyed Alice in Borderland. They're apparently making a season three, which I don't understand how. Because they already adapted the entire manga, didn't they? So I don't even know how they're going to do a season three of this show. I'm certainly interested, but I, I don't know where they go from here. down that's how yeah i mean the only where to the only place to go is down with this unfortunately i thought it had a good ending i really enjoyed the show i think a season three is going to overstay its welcome it adapted the entire manga and did so really well from what i understand so now everything they do here is going to be netflix original and i think it's going to be uh, probably not very good and i have no idea though i'd have to really think about it and i have not seen that yet we weeb Hope you're enjoying Flor Florida, Brian. I'm definitely not moist metering Alice in Borderland. It's already been way, way too long. Do they have a part two of a manga? They have a spinoff. It's not really a part two, though. Big Mouth sucks. Tell that to Rotten Tomatoes. They give every season 100%. It's basically a sequel and it's not good. Is it basically a sequel? I thought it was just a spinoff. Did you watch Vivi Fluorite Eyes? Yeah, I made a moist meter on that. I thought it was good. I don't know about that, Cabby. Maybe. Thanks for the resub, bruv. No one wants your moist meters, dude. Thanks for speaking for everyone, Cameron Lobster. You were the voice of reason. Alright. They're done then. Well, now I know. Humanity speaker chimed in. Did you see the odds pirate ship? Mm -mm, what's that? Look at his profile pic. Why? I'm assuming it's just anime. <laughs> if I get, I'm already positive. I think Spider-Man 2 is great. I definitely get a lot of the criticism now that I'm towards the end, though. I really do see a, a lot of what people don't like about it. I think it's still very good. I don't think it's like a game of the year winner or anything, but it is fun. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Dan. Well, that's not a healthy way of dealing with it, but I'm wishing you the best. Thanks, Elix Elixira. Do you think One Punch... Why did I say One Punch? Do you think One Piece live action will be better or worse in the second season? I think it's only going to get better. I actually have a lot of faith in them now. They blew me away with season one. I don't think they're going to drop the ball in season two. I think it's only going to get better. I am worried that they might cut the budget because that's just kind of been the standard thing for successful shows like Walking Dead and all that. But assuming they don't, I think it only gets better. And I haven't watched the new Rick and Morty. I just, I can't bring myself to. I haven't watched Rick and Morty in like four years. I don't think it's a bad show, but it's a show I have no interest in anymore. He's <clears throat> the Prime Dixon, the Reese of Jacob.
Thanks, Arthur. You see the f new Florida man police chase. It's on lawn crime. Dude crashes through a fence and headbutts his car window to try and flee. No, when was that? I haven't seen any new police chases recently. Maya was. Florida man exposes himself and angrily cusses at the Florida police before surrendering. Is that this one? He just whips his cock out? And then he starts giving them the finger? I don't see anything else from Florida. Thanks for that deep thought. Yeah, I don't know which one you're referring to. It's not that one, it's the one before that. I don't see any other one before that. There's the passenger attempts to toss drugs out of a car window. There's a lot of updates on Ruby Frank, the uh, child abuser. The YouTuber ate passengers, child abuser. These are only a day old. I didn't see any of these. Yeah, I do not see this police chase. Thanks, Stack and Mommy, for the subs. You see, IGN gave Big Mouth Season 7 a 9. Uh, Big Mouth is highly rated by every reviewer ever for some reason. I'll never understand it. I think it is actually one of the worst shows ever made. A, a statement I don't make lightly. It is an insufferably awful show. Top to bottom. Every moment spent watching that show is a moment spent in agony. Is there a sub, Carlos? No, I don't think the critics are being paid off. I think it is just actually some weirdos. I don't think they're being paid. I think the concept of Netflix comedians teaching kids about puberty with humor is good, but I hate the execution. I, I don't even know where to begin with that. I actually hate that concept. It shouldn't be Netflix comedians' responsibility to teach kids about puberty. Plus, the show they made is not suitable for kids in the first place. It's for adults to learn about their kids' puberty. It is a very, very uncomfortable show all across the board. There is nothing about that show that is kid-friendly or educational. You, you should let corporations raise your kids. <laughs> True. I, that is the, the winning formula. I don't want my kid to really learn about puberty from anyone besides Netflix, actually. Here, watch Big Mouth. Where the main character masturbates in every episode five or six times. That'll teach you. With the hormone monster. Velma's bad, but I think Big Mouth is worse. I really do. I think Big Mouth is much worse than Velma.
you to buy Modern Warfare 3? Yeah, I have to to moist meter it. Otherwise, I'd probably skip it. I would have skipped a lot of Call of Duties, actually. I'm expecting nothing from it, and I'm sure I'm still going to be underwhelmed. excited for X Defiant. I enjoyed the beta. I don't think it's going to be like a staple in the FPS community or anything, but it's a fine, fun, casual game. Look up the fake lawyer who won 26 cases in a row. What a streak. Fake lawyer wins 26th straight case before being caught and arrested. Damn, this guy's good. Who is this? They fucking called Saul. Is this, is this going to be like a news segment on it, or is this just a, a gambling ad? That's the beauty of traversing the internet without an ad block. You never really know. He's heading into the weekend one. Not everyone, not anyone is doing what Jim Harbaugh is doing. That dude got caught cheating again. Okay, so that's probably not about this story about the fake lawyer. Unless somehow Jim Harbaugh has been brought into the mega mix here. Okay. Glad I watched the entire gambling ad for that. A man posing as a lawyer won 26 cases in a row before eventually being caught and arrested. Kenyan authorities arrested Brian Mwenda last week after reports began coming in that Mwenda never passed a bar exam and allegedly had no legal qualifications whatsoever to argue cases. If that wasn't enough, it turns out Brian wasn't even Brian. He stole the identity of a real lawyer. <laughs> Wait, that's fucking awesome. He's like, eh, I've watched a couple of episodes of Better Call Saul. I can probably do this. And he did. Uh, thank you to everyone that has been supporting me. Okay. Uh, I cannot give you the context of the case, obviously. Okay. Because now, you know, investigations are being done. Okay, uh, and it's going to be prejudicial to my case for me to speak to the media. Okay. Uh, however, we'll create time for you guys. Okay. And I'm going to talk about it. Okay. And um, perhaps this was made for, for a bigger purpose than okay. I am. And All right. Nice. Can I see, a, like, one of his cases? Like, what, what kind of cases is he winning? Are they, like, high-profile cases, like murder and shit? I doubt it, right? It's probably more, like, slight disputes that go to court would be my guess. <laughs> but he still won them, though. No, 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 it's still impressive. It, like, it is still actually impressive, but... It would be really, it'd be a very different story if he was a fake lawyer that was like involved in criminal cases involving extremely serious things like rape, murder, and you know, stuff like that. And he's like winning those cases while not really being a lawyer. That'd be very different than if he's just winning speeding ticket cases. Thanks for that, Stubbs. I never watched all of BoJack Horseman, but I watched a good chunk of it. And no, I probably won't speedrun Ultra Kill Charlie. Oh, did he explain this already, Glorious? Yeah, this is the first I'm hearing of it. Definitely not looking that up, Kai. Mm. Is he the guy that got McKamey Manor shut down? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, know, I know the whole situation, Sarah. I know what you're talking about. What's even wackier is the fact that the actual lawyer, lawyers lost cases to a guy who isn't even a lawyer, let alone even taken the bar. It's got to be really demoralizing as a real lawyer who lost to him. You just got fucking humiliated. I 
And no, I haven't seen that Banana Boy. I don't know what video you're referring to. Guarantee all those lawyers stop practicing law after that. Yeah, maybe. I would. What game do you think will be game of the year? Baldur's Gate 3. According to the president of the Law Society of Kenya, it's not true that he won 26 cases. Oh, was that just another lie? How deep do the lies go? No, I don't know what you're referring to with the Z Z Zobra. Seth, never heard of it. It's not like a cryptid. Thanks to tier one cam. Do you know about the hyenas? Do you know about the hyenas? The new game canceled that basically destroyed the studio that makes Total War. I know the overarching details of it. I didn't know it destroyed the entire studio, though, but it was quite the shit show. Yeah, I watched Dragon Dragon Ball Daima. My personal favorite speedrun is The Hobbit. I think it is the best speedrun game. <laughs> Metal Gear tonight? Nope. I've already got a big plan for tonight. I, I will look that up, Glorious. Just not on stream or anything. You gonna play Ghost Runner 2 when it comes out? I'm gonna play it tonight. That's the plan. Return to Moria. That's the new Lord of the Rings game, right? I just heard about that. I didn't look into it, though. Is it any good? It's like a survival game, right? Misty mountains, Middle Earth. The fourth age of this world. Concerning dwarves. Dwarves have delved under the mountains since the first. Well, I'm getting really mixed responses. Mining, smithing, and carving our homes. It has been remarked by some that a dwarf's only real passion is for battle and treasure. So a it's rather a lot like unfair, Valheim. I'd say, mm -hmm. elven observation, as we also hold our food and ale. I actually played some UFC Five today at the warehouse. All that is gold is not glitter. I have no idea, idea guy. I don't know what that ploy would be. Our reputations as master artisans precede us. As does our combat prowess. I like Valheim. Not enough to try this, though. Our it looks truly lie average. Is in one another's company. For all dwarves share deep bonds of fellowship. Now. In this new age, no, it program. is time we dwarves return. Could be fun with friends. Yeah, war. but everything is. There's so few games that aren't fun with friends. It's the company that makes it fun. It seems average. I don't think it looks great. I don't think it looks awful. It looks okay. mobile ass looking game it is very mobile ass that's very true i'm not really a fan of the visuals but it's just a low budget game and i've not played the new hellboy you mentioned on stream something about a D, &D project what was that oh we've got our own D, &D campaign we're starting two weeks we have a whole animation done for it. We redesigned an entire building for it. Like, we went all in on D&D. &D. We got so into it. I'll, I'll talk more about that when it gets closer to release.
Why are there so many bad games coming out recently? Mm -hmm. I'm thankful for it, though. Things are resuggested. You hear about yeah? We already talked about the Nintendo situation. I've still got it up right. I still got it up right here. Thanks the resub fidgets. Why do you keep buying those bad games? I have a passion for really bad media, bad movies, bad games, even bad music. There's just something really entertaining about something that people pour either their heart and soul into but don't have the talent to realize the vision so it ends up falling flat and being shit. Or something that is just doomed from the start. There's a certain kind of joy in experiencing something like that. It's never as good when it's bad on purpose. I hate self-aware bad media. Like Asylum Pictures, I hate it. If you're making something bad on purpose, you lose all my respect. At least try and make something good, and it ends up shitty. Then you still have my respect. Like Moonfall. And then he had the gall to say that it's Marvel that's ruining cinema after making Moonfall. It's so good. Well, thank you for that, Augustine. And I have not seen the Tommy Tallarico video yet. I know all about that, though. I just haven't watched this video on it. And I have not considered that Memphis. Thanks, Luke. I can't say that, lol, man. I'm not telling that joke again. We've retired it. We said there's enough of that. Put it to the retirement home. Example of a self-aware bad movie? Literally anything from Asylum. Sharknado. Sharktopus. All that kind of shit. Or, um, one recently that I watched, Slotherhouse. It's this one. Just like when you're making something self-aware bad. Like, it's still, like, I watched this with friends. Watched is a, a very generous term for it. I fell asleep. But, like, it's fine. Kind of. It's just never as good. When you make something bad on purpose. Yep. I know all about the pull drop mark method from Waffle House. Yeah, I'm a Miami, Miami Heat fan. No, I don't do that anymore, Strife. I can check it out, but it won't be on stream. You see the Five Nights at Freddy's movie? Of course I am. Absolutely. I wouldn't miss that. Freddy Fazbear on the big screen? You got me fucked up if you think I'm not going to that. Thanks, Two Fish. Hold on, quick text message. How do you feel about the Winnie the Pooh killer movie? Blood and Honey? Trash. Made a whole video on why that movie's awful. Wasn't bad, wasn't fun bad or anything, it was just fucking awful. Thanks, Mello. And thanks to the resub dungus. I haven't finished Spider-Man 2 yet, but I'm getting close. Have you watched the John DeLorean documentary by Alex Baldwin? John DeLorean documentary. The framing of John DeLorean. I haven't seen this, but you know what I did see today? I'm going to pull this up. I don't know how many of you saw this. Daniel Radcliffe is producing a documentary about his stunt double who was left paralyzed after a stunt went wrong. It's called David Holmes, The Boy Who Lived, I believe is the title of it. 
And I had no idea this happened. So apparently his stunt double, his name's David Holmes, was involved in an onset explosion that left him paralyzed. Which was fucking crazy to read about. Appreciate that, Lucas. Thank you for that. I always, my heart always breaks for stunt doubles. Stunt doubles do so much dangerous shit for so little. Well, comparatively so little, I'll say. Like, there's un, an innumerable amount of stories of stunt doubles getting hurt, dying, or permanently injured. Like, uh, how many of you remember Resident Evil stunt double with the degloving? That one, I still think about from time to time, is fucking horrifying. Like, it's just, it's craziness. So, Daniel Radcliffe is producing this documentary to go over David Holmes' story. Apparently, David Holmes also has, like, a, uh, a podcast that he, that he talks about for, like, stunt, stunt work and all of that. So, it's a, apparently a pretty inspiring story, I imagine. It's one that would definitely make me super emotional, though, so I don't know if I'll be watching it. I always hate hearing about things like this. It just makes me really sad. I feel fucking horrible for them. Well, thanks for that, Daniel. I'll definitely check that out. Is there a stuntman Oscar? No. So, there's a real reason for it, and I kind of understand where it comes from. The reason they don't do Oscars or, like, really big nods to stunt work is because there's the fear, and this could just be copium and an excuse, but it does have logic to it. There's the fear that by incentivizing stunt work to be bigger, grander, more extreme, over the top, you make it more dangerous. And you push people to go harder, which makes it, ultimately, more dangerous. So, by making an award for, like, the craziest stunts, you'll have other people that'll try and vie for that next year, where they're like, I want to be the craziest stunts, we need to have the craziest stunts, shit like that. So, it just keeps escalating. So, it, like, I get why you don't want to incentivize that, but it's really such a shame that you can't give, like, an official appreciation for the stunt work because it is crucial to the films and it is such an impressive art. But I do understand the argument for why you don't. Because you don't want people to risk their life for it, for the glory. The Gibby stunt double. The Gibby stunt double is a hero that... I will forever appreciate as a goddamn legend. When we had uh, Noah on our podcast, he talked about this. I'll show you real quick. So this is the Gibby fall from the ceiling. I'll play it one more time just in case you missed it. Okay, so this is a real stunt. According to Noah, the stunt double here actually just fucking belly blasted, belly bomb like cross body blocked from the top turnbuckle up here out of out of view onto basically just the concrete and as you would expect he got injured so he hits the ground he actually bounces off the ground which is crazy impact he broke a couple of ribs and was transported off set this is a stunt worker who deserves high level accommodation for that Why? Because it's a great scene. He did it all for the art. But now, if you give him the award, you'll have five other stunt doubles potentially doing, you know, cannonballs onto concrete and shit to try and one-up this, is the argument. Still such a, such an incredible stunt. No fake floor is crazy. It's been a long time since Noah was on. He said they tried to do something to dress it up, but it didn't work. So what ultimately ended up happening is he basically just bounced off of the ground. I can't recall all of the particulars about it. You can go rewatch the podcast episode if you're curious. He really went into a lot of detail about some interesting shit. But this one blew me away. That this was a real stunt. They didn't just use like a, you know, like a like a doll or something like you'd expect them to do they actually just had their stunt double do this I can look it up later Seth but yeah Daniel Radcliffe is making this about David Holmes uh, I didn't really read what caused the explosion though so let's see if it goes into detail 
Holmes was working on Deathly Hollows Part 1 when an explosion that was part of a planned stunt sent him plummeting to the ground, leaving him paralyzed from the chest down with a debilitating spinal injury that turned his life upside down. <clears throat> Featuring candid personal footage shot over the last decade, behind-the-scenes material from Holmes' stunt work, scenes of his current life, and intimate interviews with him, Radcliffe, friends, family, and former crew, the film reflects on universal themes of living with adversity, growing up, and the bonds that bind people. The bonds that bind people together. Okay, so the explosion, I'm, I, the explosion was planned, and I guess blew him off of wherever he was, and he hit the ground, causing the paralysis. I don't, I, I don't remember what in Deathly Hallows would have even had something like that with Harry. Is what what scene would that be in Deathly Hallows Part One? Yeah, I love Risk of Brain too. I don't know if I'll like stream it though, Pepto again. The Hogwarts battle? That's part two. Maybe the brooms? There's not like an explosion while he's riding on the broom. Mad Eye gets blasted, but not Harry, I don't think. Mm, yeah, I guess maybe something at the wedding. There was a lot of chaos there, perhaps. I just don't remember anything where, like, Harry himself gets hit by, like, an explosion or something. So maybe it was, the, the explosion was planned, but maybe him being near it and all that was very much not in the cards. But Daniel Radcliffe really seems like such a good guy. Shining a light on a story like this, I think, is just a good thing to do. And I really like Daniel Radcliffe's post-Harry Potter work. He just chooses wacky roles that he gets to have fun with. Like Guns Akimbo, uh, Swiss Army Man... What was his most recent one? Uh, he had a role in like a TV show where he was like shirtless and crazy. Like some Mad Max shit. I just think he's a really like good guy from what I've seen. Weird Al. Oh, Weird Al. You got an Emmy nomination for Weird Al? Good. Good for him. It was that flying scene. He got yanked back hard at fast speed. Oof. It's awful. Not wrong, Jackson. That's actually a good point. Swiss Army Man was awesome from him. Like I said, man, pretty much everything Daniel Radcliffe's been doing post Harry Potter, I think, is good. I, I there there hasn't been anything he's done where I'm like, damn, Daniel was shitting that. And no, Toad, not tonight. That's not what I'm playing tonight. All right, let's ride. So I do want to play some Ghost Runner tonight. We're going to let it rip. It's in early access right now. Now I mentioned, I, I gave like a little uh, early leak uh, two nights ago. So I'm just going to blow the lid off the whole kit and caboodle since now it's in early access. It should be fine. I mentioned, here I'll pull this up first. I mentioned something very interesting. And I'm just going to go fully in-depth on what it is once I fire it up. This isn't like a sponsored stream or anything. Don't get the wrong idea. Ugh, hold on. I forgot i got to reinstall everything. Give me two seconds. Oh, thanks, Gunner. Hope you had a great stream. Sorry, I didn't see that. 
Oh, is that right, Dankin? Okay, then I'll just do 11. That's fine. I still need to download this anyway, but I'll just do 11. Isn't the game fully out now? No, it's still early access, I think. I think it's fully out on the 26th. I could be wrong. Do you think there will be something more for Titanfall now that they added a Titanfall update to Apex? Thanks for your Uh, no. I don't. I wish, but I don't. Thanks for the resub, Gory. Man, this is taking a little while to install. Sorry, right. hold on. Respawn can eat my nuts after all that Titanfall teasing was for a new character. Don't tell me you bought into the Hopium as well, Dankin. You knew- you should know better. I understand the community kind of losing their marbles over it, getting off their gourd about Titanfall 3 being teased or something coming up, but you should have known that's not happening. You know better. Oh, thanks for that, nobody. Thanks for the five gifted members. It's almost done. Sorry. There's Resub Vic. Did you see everyone thinking the GTA 6 trailer was coming out today? I did not. That's even more unbelievable. Okay, there we go. So you said do, just do 11 instead of 12? So let me back out. Alright, let's ride. You're reading mainly Twitch comments or YouTube comments? I have them combined, so both at the same time. Makes it very convenient. God, I'm so excited for Ghost Runner 2. So, many of you might remember, Ghost Runner was one of my favorite games of the year when it came out. I gave it a 90% on the moist meter, I think. It was either a 90 or a 95%. Fucking love Ghost Runner. So I was super excited for Ghost Runner 2. And it turns out, the Ghost Runner developers we're also fans of Godslap. So they reached out to us a few months back. I don't I don't know. It's been it's been a little bit now. They reached out to us about doing something with Godslap to cross over like Godslap with Ghost Runner. And it was a little far along to do something like crazy like put Godslap characters in the game or anything like that. So instead, we came up with a a more interactive idea for the community. So basically, in the game, there's 10 Godslap Easter eggs. There are 10 hidden Godslap hands in there where... Here, hold on. Let me pull up their sheet so I can give you all the right detail. So there's 10 hidden, and if you find all 10 and confirm it with the team, you win a special Ghost Runner Katana of which there's only eight in the world made. Well, seven, kinda. So, I can't really show it super well. Fuck. It's not, I can't do it justice because of the webcam. So if you find all 10 of the God Slap Easter eggs in the game, and they verify that it's real you found all 10 and you were one of the first to find it, you'll get the matching Ghost Runner Katana. So we'll be like brothers and sisters only closer. And I just thought it was so fucking cute. Cause this is so cool. So yep, this isn't, like I said, this isn't a sponsored stream or anything. 
it's just a really cool crossover that they wanted to do with God Slap, and I am so thankful for it because I think it is great. I think it is super fucking cool. So yeah, if any of you are planning on playing Ghost Runner 2, try and go out of your way to explore as much as possible because maybe you can find all 10 and win it. So all you have to do is tweet it at them with the proof that you found it and tag them and tag the God Slap Twitter account. God Slap's our comic series. It's not a game, it's our comic series. Badass as fuck geek dream sword. It is so fucking cool. I'm trying to get like hooks for it so I can put it on the wall. So it's not just on the shelf. I can hang it on the wall. It comes with like a little plaque too. So it'll be really nice. So, yep, let's ride. We've been given many names. Ghost runners. Human-like killing machines. Yep. Guardians. Comes out on the 26th. This is just the early access. An extinct breed. That last one. Thanks, Shay. While true for most. For us. Naive. That kind of strength, that will to overcome every obstacle, that undying thirst to defy those who enslave us, that resentment, ironic disobedience. Do it I know where the slaps are? The god slap hands? No, I actually don't. They didn't tell me. So maybe I'll find all 10 before everyone else and just get two Rejected katanas and I'll fucking dual wield it. <laughs> Actually, that'd be kind of cool. And now, with all the masters gone... It'll be this week, Colin. I'll drop it this to week. to free ourselves at last. Remind everyone. Did you give the God Slap IP to Game Mill? <laughs> Fucking W idea. I could have my own Rise of Kong for God Slap. Dharma will finally pay the price it deserves. And there will be no one left to protect it. It's time to wake up. I hope you're doing well, Kieran. Kyron. No reinforcements can beat the hammers to the central chamber. Except for you. Report once you're in position. Okay. It's gonna take me a, a minute to get used to it again. In position. Hi, Jackie. Well, let's get rolling. The hammers have a hell of a head start. No time to do it. I was way. nasty at Ghost Runner 1, though. That's not necessary. Sure it is, Jackie. I've also, the speed run for Ghost Runner 1 was fucking fire. Ah, oh, it's getting tricky. <laughs> but you should be fine if you use your, uh... I know. Hmm. <laughs> Easy two for one? God, I'm already so clean with it. Like, I might... I, I thought I'd have to warm up. This is going to be another massive speedrun game. This really sounds like I'm sponsored by them, but I'm not. I'm actually just a fan. I know they're doing a speedrun bounty challenge for it. It's... I'm going to look it up. It's 10k, right? They're doing a $10,000 speedrun challenge for this when it releases. I think it's 10k. Let me look it up real quick. Why 
Why can't I find it? It was on their Twitter, right? Am I having a psychotic episode? Yeah. Ghost Runner 2 $10,000 speedrun challenge. It's on speedrun.com. It wasn't their Twitter. It starts when the game releases, and it goes until November 9th. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Joey. I didn't know they were actually shitty ports. Since the That's a shame they didn't do Metal Gear Justice. God, this is so fucking satisfying. So that's the thing, if you get hit once, you're fucked. Which I think is much, much more fun. Wasn't there one more? So much chrome on these guys. Wonder if you've cut any of them before. Oh wait, yeah, you're right, yeah, you're right. Hold on, I forgot to turn off the motion blur. Thanks. I wouldn't know. My bad. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I think motion blur always needs to be turned off. I agree. <laughs> Not smooth, but we still got there in the end. Time for your ninja rope to shine. My what? You know, the grappling hook. Gun. Implant. It's called Gap Jammer. That's the one. Yeah. Look, I know this ain't your first rodeo. I just want to help. Keep things smooth. Why is the reactor? It just feels so city? fucking good. I, I love the speed of Ghost Runner. I'm glad they kept everything intact. Or maybe the architect wanted to keep it as close to himself as possible. Far away from this dirty, God dirty it. working class. Yeah. Far away from this dirty, dirty working class. Thanks for the res or the yeah the resub shaman. I'm kind of going crazy. Oh, damn! I didn't catch the boost. I thought I would. Is this a secret area? Oh no, this is take the oh this is like the right way to go. go. 
Nice. Easy. Someone... Oh, this is a hidden challenge area? Oh, no, it's the terminal. Oh well, I don't need to be perfect yet. We're still just warming up. Did I miss one? Oh my god, I did. I went the wrong way. My goose is cooked. Cringe. Eh, I <laughs> didn't even get bronze. Love to see that. Thanks, silly. Huge. Uh, I went the wrong way. I ended up getting mixed around. Happens. I'll come back to it. I'm sure you can probably just beeline those, right? this for? Is it just lore? Thanks, more, And thanks for the Prime Pixel and Resub Simi. Oh yeah, true. Actually, we'll turn up the FOV just a little bit. I'll just do 100. I don't want 120. 120 is a little too much. I forgot where I came from. I came from that side, right? I'm pretty sure I did. Thanks for tier one bushy. And that loops all the way back around. Am I supposed to go up? The green door? Am I fucking blind? The green door. Oh. They seem determined. Well, they better be. Why don't you pull a stunt like this? Yeah. Well, Yikes. they better be. Why don't you pull a stunt like this? It's all or nothing. All the factions will be at their throat if they fail to secure the reactor as a bargaining chip. And they will fail. Can't we secure the reactor remotely? Why didn't I think of that? Yeah. No! Why didn't I think of that? Oh, wait. I did. Zoe's busting her butt right now trying to do exactly that. But your late papa, the architect, made these things network unfriendly. Besides, even if we do prevent them from detonating it, they can still we'll get your one it. And we have enough of a power shortage as is. Why wasn't the reactor protected? It was. We have five guys guarding the approach. It's bad. Why wasn't the reactor adequately protected? Because of politics. There's nobody who come close to it without all the other factions getting all twitchy. This mess is exactly why we need the interface council to work out. If all the gangs and factions do don't simple. learn to play nice soon, Dharma will just fall apart right in front of our eyes. Oh, I got both of them with that? Oh my god. I'm just a prodigy. They're getting close. Expect heavy resistance. Oh. 
Okay, put the cart before the horse. It's alright. That was looking like a clean run up until I blew it. Let's go this way first. Oh. Once I get warmed up again, I just gotta get used to it. I'm just gonna be so filthy and so clean with it. Well, speedrun strat put me right in front of the door. Well on my way to winning that $10,000. If you dash into an immediate slide and jump while holding slide, you go way further and faster than normal. Okay, dash into immediate slide jump, okay. It's easier just it's easier if you set crouch or dash to a mouse button. It's kind of big brain. May I'll try it without first though. Reach what hands fail to grasp. May mind pierce the darkness where eyes failed. So unnecessary. Let him. He made it happen. May will overcome where flesh and steel stumbled. This doesn't look good, but I've got over 50 guys on the way. Just hang in there. Don't let them leave. What do you want me to do? I don't know. Right, Just stall for time. Before Matt went to bed. May a new kindred really rise listening. where its fathers perished. May we be free at long last! You! Lay down your weapons! Now! This is my first boss fight? A number. Let me put it down, Master. Will Bushido allow it? It will now. <laughs> I've got to talk to Bushido real quick. I'm tapping into the ancient ways of the blade. May we be free! That guy looks like a bitch. What a strong start. What a strong start. I even knew that was coming too, I could tell. What was it? Dash into an immediate jump slide. Yeah, you're right. I will change my mouse button. I'm fucked. I'm not. Let me do that now. I want to try that tech. Okay, I can see how that works. You call that speed? Once I get the timing right, it's just muscle memory. Oh my god. Buzz Lightyear Johnny Sins? My man. Who are you? Well, Good. Oh, I tried to slide and I just keep forgetting. It's gonna take me a minute to get used to that change. I'm back. You are no runner. You can't 
Can I parry a boss? Oh. No! <laughs> Unlucky. Ugh, why? Not like this. Not like this. Was I on Direct 12? Is that one of the things you mentioned, Duncan? Is that because of Direct 12? I don't remember if I switched or not. He got you good. Man slapped me so hard the whole game went down. Man threw up the real life firewall. Said, not today, son. Yeah, 12 crashed for me and had a ton of stutters. Alright, well I'm on 11 for sure this time, so we should be fine. I'm imagining it saves that spot. Nope. Not quite. Wait, where am I? Oh yeah, right here. That's fine. More practice. Are you even trying, number? Cannot stop us. There we go. Kind of clean, pretty quick. First try. See, now I'm in the mainframe. We got a Patrick Stewart. Let's ride. I'll just list every bald man in the world. Yeah. Every time I die. Yeah. Keep trying to parry that, but I think I'm just gonna go for blocks from now on. Oh, okay. He, he refused to use it that time. He said, I'm sorry I crashed the computer with it it's last over. time, Charlie. I won't use it again. <laughs> You're an honorable warrior, Ariman. But through the sacrifice, carry forth the vengeance of the Ashura. May we be free. What's up, Howie Mandel? Neutralized? He's dead. Good. Glad I could help. My name is Adrian Bakunin. Throw down your weapons and surrender. Heard that one before. In the name of the Interface Council, you're under arrest. Let's go. Understood. Now you show up. We're here, ain't we? Connor wants to see you. Sure he does. Hey, wait! Dankin, that's so fucking cringe, you took seven deaths on him? Oh my god, I blew you out of the water! <laughs> this, this is, oh my god. You should hide your face in shame. I annihilated you. That wasn't even close. Not everyone can be a god-given gamer like me, though. You just don't have that gene in you. Just born without it. Jack, good job out there. Glad you're in one piece. Yeah, thanks. Connor wants to see me. Uh-huh. But please talk to Zoe first. She was worried sick about you. I will. And yeah, this guy you brought in? He says he's got some information. Might be worth checking out. Oh, and drop by later. You've missed your appointment. Sure. See you in a bit. Later. No, that was all just tutorial. We're still just in tutorial. Thanks for the help. You're welcome. Mm. Wish we could get them all, but... 
They weren't even all there. Right. Well, Thanks one down, armada. three to go. Why were you even there? I'd been tracking Aramon for weeks. He showed up out of nowhere, took control of the hammers, and then used their resources to conduct a large-scale search for... something. Mitra's body. Most likely. Anyway, I knew he was going to make a move on the reactor, but I didn't know why. So I came to try and stop him if he pulled anything really dangerous. By yourself? I don't have many friends nowadays. No. Besides, don't make it sad. I had a feeling you might show up. You seem like a good guy. You can easily get friends if you wanted to. They're the problem, not you. One quick text message. Oh, also, hold on. Matt just gave me a correction. I was wrong. For the God Slap collab here to win the katana, you don't have to find all ten. You just have to be one of the people that finds at least one of the ten and you can enter the raffle. Though, obviously, I think finding all ten would probably be optimal. So, to you can be entered with just one. You don't need all ten. I got that very wrong. I thought it needed to be all ten in order to make it to, to that. I see. At least I think that's for one of them. I must have misread that when they sent it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what it was. The more you find, obviously the better your odds then. Okay, so it's not a requirement for all ten. I see. My bad. What do you know about these Ashura? <laughs> so a participation runners. award. That's I mean, not everyone's going to find all ten. Extremely cautious. I think whoever does you is probably going to be the one the that gets at least one of the swords. For Twenty years. Imagine what they can do if they work together. I, I got that backwards though. Can you help me against them? I believe I can. In the field, if need be, and definitely when it comes to intel. As soon as your friends decide to let me go, I'll get back to gathering data time. on these GRs. We'll update you directly. I got a feeling this is only the beginning of Dharma's trouble. Right. Oh, wait, what? That's interesting. You can have different keybinds for the hub itself. I was wondering why my slide was back to control. I missed our appointment today. Yeah, don't worry, Thanks Jack. Thanks, Brian. I was just gonna tell you you finished all the tests. And? And you're fit as a fiddle. A heavily augmented transhuman fiddle, but still, the meaty parts of you are in great shape. Good to know. Thanks, Saul. Hey, one last thing. I have something for you. A gift? Sure, why not? It's a shuriken throwing system that I extracted out of our dead fella right here. Thought it might come in handy. You most certainly nice. will, Saul. Thank you. Ah, uh, no need for that. Just use it carefully. Preferably not in this room. I'll try. Good man. Nice. Oh, so these are like different color patterns. I'm gonna stick with this. I'm back. Thanks, Reese Abdul. Sorry, I couldn't be on the comms. Connor had me hacking the reactor subsystems. Plan B, you know? Plan A was a Hail Mary. God, this is a mess. We don't know where these Ashura came from, where they are, or what they want. We know we need to stop them. Yeah, I suppose that's enough for now. Oh, and Bye, Zoe. before you go, we've managed to get a hold of one of the original GR augmentation units. Haven't seen them in a while. Yeah, pretty vintage stuff at this point. Come on, give it a shot. I will. Thanks. <laughs> So 
here's the skill tree, I guess. Sensory boost costs 25% less stamina. What's my sensory boost? Uh, this seems best, right? Just deflect everything right back. Then I don't even need to, like, parry it perfectly or anything, I don't think. Plus it's also the most expensive, which means it's gotta be the best. Run it. I can't even place that one, it's too expensive. Oh, yes I can. Just in a different column. Okay. That looks good to me. I have questions. Who doesn't, eh? Thanks, Dylan. What did you want to talk about? Next we have sim sim a church simply. problem, and you've been randomly chosen to become a solution. Don't we have a bigger problem right now? What? Those schmucks from the reactor? Well, you already took down one of them, which concluded in them leaving and us securing the place once again. So I don't see that as a bigger problem. Anyway, let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Send me out there. I'm ready for the church mission. About time. Leave the HQ and head towards the lower floors. Zoe will send you the details. Is that all? For now. Dismissed. Bye, Connor. I've dug up some blueprints. This place must be huge. God damn it, I keep mistiming it now. for that. I just need to disable it over here. You can see the panel. This used to be the Rotman's turf. Yeah. They got pushed out by the old guard last month. And then Backstabbed by the Fontaneros while pushing back. Leadership. Under an independent council of representatives. Run by you. If you want to be the mayor, be my guest, Jackie. Just uh, bear in mind that in politics, you're not normally allowed to kill your opponents. Nope. Shit. Yeah. Fuck. Unlucky. Oh my god, not again. Alright. I gotta stop dashing like that. It's reckless. Nice, got them both. Clean. You need to get down there. Alright, what's this Look one? Let this be a kill one. My traversal is a little lackluster, but I'm sure I can fuck people. Oh, this isn't a challenge terminal. Well, drain some water. I missed. Oh no, I didn't. Wait, what, am I, what am I doing with that? Oh. Woo! Shit. Oh my god, I just did the exact same thing again. I'm like a dog catching a car, I don't know what I'd do if I get caught one. I 
keep mistiming this. So what is it? It's jump into immediate slide. Can I deflect this? No. Whoop. I'm, I'm really getting blasted here. I didn't realize how quick that was recharging the first time. Easily gives up pink mist. So he said, dash into immediate slide jump. Oh. I was doing it during the boss fight, but now I'm struggling. Because I feel like that would take me for far enough for just this. Yeah. Oh, maybe I'm sli not sliding long enough. Do I need to go pick that up again? Oh, good. Here we are. Pretty. Dash into immediate slide and jump while holding slide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm starting to figure it out now. I'm just not holding it long enough. Whoops. Yeah. Alright, I have to use this. <laughs> Once I master that tech, I'm gonna be nasty. See? Oh, what did that say? Didn't even need it! Oh my god. I'm already speedrunning. I still can't believe you had the architect guiding you back then. Why didn't you tell me? But I didn't need it. Bang. Oh shit. Guess just waking up from a 20 year coma has gotta be confusing. Pretty much, yeah. I've already learned that tutorial, why is it teaching me again? Does it think I'm bad or something? Oh, easy parry. Ugh, these guys give me the creeps. What is this tech? Looks like a homemade version of GR hardware. You're killing your own cosplayers, Jackie. That's cold. <laughs> oh, damn, I really tried to... <laughs> okay. He got me with the move I was trying to do. Good for him. Okay. God damn it. <laughs> Hold on. I'm coming back. No way. My parry's looking good, but these guys are uh, deflecting everything from me. Ruining all my cool strats. Do you think he's back? Yes. No. Even as a human, the guy was slippery. Like an oiled up eel. Sure. The AI version of him must be on a whole other level. I killed him. Well, apparently you didn't kill him hard enough. Oh. Looking at chat. 
There we go. Now I'm starting to get the timing right. I found every goddamn. Well, I might find it like a god slot the Easter egg over this way. I think I saw something. I, don't know. I thought this like branched off. What hit me? Who hit me? How are you still alive? Missed both of them, huge. There we go. Come on, stamina. There we go. This is a challenge terminal. Destroy all targets with the shuriken skill. Uh, my aim's been impeccable, so I'm feeling very confident here. Having him inside your head. Annoying. I bet. Can you imagine a condescending jerk butting in every few seconds? Yeah, I bet you can. Well. <laughs> my aim's looking really good. Oh, shit. Maybe standing still would have been the optimal play instead of trying to move. What's left? What's left? Oh. Hey! Uh, not bad! What do you know? <laughs> we take that. I'll take a silver. This again? This is just the terminal. <laughs> you should equip that one sword skin, it looks badass. Hey, I'm just gonna stick with default sword for now. This has to be used for something, where does it go? memories. Let's do this the smart way. And I jumped right into it. Very smart. Easy parry. Well, Jackie, what do you okay. take on your dad's policies? Not the, the cleanest, but we got there. Easy to one rogue. Each and every GR's activation. Probably jerked off to his own genius while he was at it. Hit. 
No, I didn't play the Modern Warfare 3 beta. I couldn't even bo be bothered to pretend to care. Whoops. Alright. I played that like way too much of a bitch. Oops. Not like this. Go. Oh my god, now that was smooth. That was fucking. That was very smooth, and then I ruined it. And then I ruined it. Maybe I can save it? Hold on. Oh. What? Oh. One little rascal survived? Nope, not again. Oh, this is off. I will never win that that duel of fate there. That little bastard. Well, caught a lot of velocity off that, which is cool, but doesn't does me no good. Not this one. Oh, there we go. Didn't even need to parry that time. He's got better timing. Where am I? Oh my god. <gasps> Wait a minute, speedrun fans. I'm out of bounds. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. I am out of bounds. But I don't know. Okay. I found a little out of bounds clip. Oh! The church doesn't stand a chance. Man, I'm getting so clean. Architect or not. Unless, you know. What? Unless he appropriates our assets. What? Unless he takes over my body. Yeah. Oh, didn't expect that. No, 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 no! Okay. Okay. Hold on. My hands are cramping up a little bit from so many inputs. I'm like a StarCraft player right now with all these... This APM. Oh, I'm still on cooldown. I'm just gonna use my ult on the next one. You bastard. Alright, let's just try my ult. What does it do? Okay. Oh, I'm like shooting a laser. Alright, got it. Kind of a waste of my ult, but whatever. I wanted to experiment and see what it was like. Oh, I got my ult back. What the fuck, man? This one guy just keeps blasting me. Ah, 
How was he not alerted? <laughs> this guy deserved to die. This man should have been fired from the patrol. They're not alerted over there. I've been moving so fast, they haven't been able to register my speed, I guess. There we are. There we are. Alright. There was some moments of beauty in there. But then I also fumbled a lot, so... The good with the bad. Come on. Oh, nice. Oh, you have to do the whole thing over. Okay, let's just play it slow then. Okay, I thought that was permanent. Uh, waste no, of fine. time. <laughs> Won't budge. It's only too early. So what do we do? I figure there's no point trying to breach that terminal. It's operating on a completely different level. Mouse and keyboard to use? Uh, Walmart Corsair. Should I go back? What do you think? Whatever Walmart had. Unless you're planning to smash your head through the gate. We can't really do anything to open it. Report to HQ. We need to discuss this. This one, not so smooth. We, we don't have to linger on this screen for too long. I was experimenting. I was doing a lot of experimental stuff. It's like college. Uh, you just have to go through that phase. So, 38 deaths, that's no big deal. Any updates? Yeah, but not about the Ashura. Your failed church infiltration. What about it? I think I know someone who will be able to help you break through. I thought you were focused on the Ghost Runners. I was. It just so happens that the same person is our best bet of digging up intel on them. Who is it? An old... colleague. Do you know where to find this colleague? Got a general idea? I'm gonna need you to scout out a particularly nasty part of Dharma City. Talk to me when you're ready to make the trip. Oh, I'm ready. Right now. I'm ready to make the trip. Great. I'll send you the intel once you're on your way. Sounds good. Talk to you soon. Bye, friend. Do you play the first one? I loved the first one. Stay sharp. This is the bad part of Dharma Oops. City. Oh, you dirty rat. <laughs> That's so fucked up. See, my movement's looking crisp like now. You in what might be a wild goose chase. Oh my god. What? If she's bored enough. Keep missing the, the timing now. Can I just not hit him from behind? Guess not. This is gonna be another sad one, I can already tell. I, I'm, I'm getting a little too stupid with it. See, I like doing that every time. Okay, we're just gonna go back to fundamentals. Where's the other guy that was shooting at me? The 
is locked off. So it is. It should be three terminals somewhere nearby. So Find easy. Tutorial didn't even have a chance to come up for me. My brain processed all the information so quick. One doesn't exclude the other. I mean, why would the gang sit in the ugly parts? To match their souls. Poetic. Did I miss the, uh... Oh, it's like way up there. I have to go all the way around, I think. I am very proud of you, Average. Oh, Holy shit. What? Oh, I didn't even know there was any enemies here. that turn off <laughs> Oh that was stupid Come on, baby. Couldn't get high enough to get back. How well do you know Kira? Quite well. She's one of a kind. Sounds bad. No, no, she's all right. Just a little oh. detached. I see. Hey, happy birthday, Doomslayer. Hope you had a great birthday. So smooth. Exit tier one saw. Okay, zero gravity. Who are you? Watch Kira. this. Don't think I can't see you. Oh I'm my god. The, the speed run is looking good. Watch talk. this. Have it your way. You can't hear me. You think you can break through these? Be my guest. Don't blame me if your brain gets fried. Easy. Is there someone left? Yeah. Oh no. Okay, we're good. I almost let someone live. What? Oh my god. I didn't move to the side at all. Who's shooting? That was easy. Luck, easy terminal. Get you so far. Do you lose the ability to raid when multi-streaming? No, I can still do that. It'd just be through Twitch. It wouldn't be YouTube and Twitch. So it's just one or the other. Oh, 
I kind of want that. I'll come back for it. Same house Ooh, is these are there. tier 3 Stardust. They're scattered throughout the city, that's but Stardust? that's the only one big enough for Kira's equipment. Team teams of Arrow off, huh? I've never I lived heard of it. in one for a year, hiding from you. YouTube has raids now? Well, yeah, but it wouldn't raid to Twitch or anything. It'd have to be another YouTube streamer. Dharma is still so empty. Dharma is still not safe. I know it's hard for you to believe, but the keys didn't only oppress the people. They also protected them. <laughs> Each other, mostly. Who is this? <laughs> huh. I thought it was about to be like a mini boss or something. Man came over here just to die quicker. Do it again! Oh, okay, that time it actually hurts. I can't just chop him out of midair. Oh wow, well, he's kind of popping off now. Except Barnes, Sublime, and Swirly. There's another one. Don't know why I went forward. guys first. Why do I keep hitting this? Why do I keep hitting this? What is going on? Wait, is it not working? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Looking good. Kill that. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, you cheeky bastard. Still don't know the most efficient way of killing them. That isn't just doing that. Oh my god, no way, that guy. What a hero. Watch this though. Nope, that didn't work. I tried to I tried to pull that down on my way by. I'm getting a little too fancy now. Where'd, where'd the other guy go? Did the other guy throw himself down the well? I guess making them miss... left. Oh, I got all three. 
Yes, sir. Notice. Okay, that only took fucking 15 deaths because I kept killing myself. Good news, she's inside. Bad news, she can't even talk to her. That's weird. I guess that is either your hacking got rusty, or maybe someone tried breaking in before and broke something. Hard to tell. Either way, you're just gonna have to open it yourself. You again? Oh. What the hell do you news? want with me? Uh. Whoever you are, have fun face checking my firewall. back man where are they at there's still five here she hid these very well Three more. There's one. Does it not reach that far? One more. Where's this little bitch hiding, huh? There she is. I thought, okay. I thought I could climb that. And I have to go all the way back around. A victim of my hubris. One more terminal. Why did you join Mara? By the time I did, the tower had already been dying for years. I thought we could stop that. Turns out I was wrong. <laughs> yeah, of course I've listened to that before, Chess. Absolutely. Oh, almost missed this. What am I? Jesus, just climb it! Oh, God! Jack! Thank you. Nope, that didn't work. Doug, that would go pretty crazy. I 
almost missed that again. That would have been extremely embarrassing. Your technique is perfect. Is it purely instincts or is there a conscious effort? You asking if I'm a machine? I know you're not. Both. Got another one. Alright, last terminal. We need a multi-stream all the time. Yep, anytime I stream, I'll just multi-stream. There's actually no reason not to at all. And it's fun. Oh man, I am absolutely destroying this one. When it has to do with speed, there's no one better. Oh my god, why? Still going. Didn't throw. Good job, I guess. That was odorous. Whoa! That was a big stinky meatball on that one. Yikes, that was good. Things the reset worst bubble and muffin. Hey, my friend. Knew it. You here to arrest me? Yes. No. You here to kill me? Sorry, ain't happening. Damn. I'm here to ask for your help. Why didn't you just say so? I'm all about helping people. Bakunin says you know about Hard the to explain, board. Jackson. Thanks for some Taekwondo and cats. What a crazy day. Pack up. I need you to come with me. You heard the man, Kevin. We are going on an adventure. <laughs> hmm. I blew your time out of the water, Dankin, but... Admittedly, some of my, uh... Some of my plays weren't the best. I'll be the first. I'll be the first to own up to that. But you can't fault the speed. Sub twenty, first of its kind. Check again, bozo. Just ran a ten minute. Yeah, I can tell lies too. I'm looking at the hard proof right here. Don't know what to tell ya. File a support ticket if I got your time wrong. What do you know about the Ashura? Here's the fatty bee. Straight to the point. I like that. The Ashura were the original Ghost Runners. A prototype series. Each had unique architecture. Different skill set, different fighting style. They served on a couple of missions each, but soon after the regular GRs rolled out, they got recalled. Recalled? Well, it's a bit of an <clears throat> understatement. Apparently, He's a prime Adam undead. found out they had been conspiring to kill him. He got mad, understandably, and the Ashura vanished. Vanished? As if they were never there. Even Mara wasn't sure what happened to them. Or at least that's what she claimed. There were rumors about them being destroyed, imprisoned, or escaping outside. But anyone who spread them got into trouble with the Architect himself. So, everyone involved learned to keep their mouths shut. And the memory of the Ashura faded. Hmm. Well, what do you know? Oh, one more thing. I brought, like, my whole flat with me. 
And mm. there's this one program that I'm working on lately that I think you might enjoy. Just make yourself comfortable on the uh, gaming chair. Huh. Okay. Might check it out. Cool. I keep forgetting to use the shuriken during the combat outside of the uh, robots. It could really help add to Does my he? speed. Also another thing, let me go check this. Anything new? Perform a perfect parry. Performing a perfect parry regenerates 35% energy. Eh. Enemies blurred red. Eh. Performing a perfect parry and deflecting projectiles is way easier. <laughs> nice. Dashing during combat makes you invulnerable to all projectiles and melee attacks. That's pretty cool. That's pretty good. Combo multiplier is 50% longer. Combo reaches X11, your energy fully regenerates. Yeah. Thanks, Resub Hydro. Is that true or not, Atomic? I did see that on Twitter, but I don't know if it's true or not. This one sounds really good. Can I just stack both of these? I think I will. And then just take off the other one. See? Plenty of space. They should cancel each other out. Easy tier one. Dian Rin. You okay with Kira joining us? Sure. The more the merrier. You don't Maybe feel the need one. to arrest her? Ionization? Nah, man. She's a scientist. People like her are gonna keep sciencing no matter how fucked up the project you put in front of them is. No point in blaming them. The best you can do is put them in a cozy lab, make sure they're working on something useful to you. Mara was a scientist. Mara was a fascist. Oh. Those you put in the ground at the earliest opportunity. Which you did. Good job. Anyway, get ready. Because you're in for round two. Oh, thanks for this time it better work out. Rin? Ready? I'm ready. Good. Well, let's get to it. Who's joining us? <clears throat> Kieran Zoe. Why? What, you have a problem with my company? Not the biggest fan. Tough luck, pal. Now move. We don't have time. Let's get to it. You're the keeper. Not really. But then again, oh. neither are you. Hurry it up. We don't have all day. Oh, shit. Didn't realize that was gonna drop me. I already took my first death immediately. I thought only GRs can enter Cyber Void. That used to be the case. But now, with the proper skill set and hardware, anyone can do it. And who has them? Let's see. Me. That's it, really. I've seen Zoe access a cyber-like environment from a regular computer. And I've seen people licking ice cream through a window pane. It can be done, it's just not quite the same. I mean, respect to her for fixing you up as much as she did with the gear she had. Shit. Even if you are a bit... off. Oh, wait, what? Can I go all the way back around? Oh, not quite. Oh, fuck, I double tapped. Uh, maybe Bernie, we'll see. Man, I'm taking... I'm taking deaths on this, which is really unlucky. That, that little bastard. Oh my god, not again. Am 
I don't know why it's not hitting for me. It's being real stubborn. Oh, I missed? Six seconds. Then I could shave off at least a second if I did both halves myself. If you say so. Jesus. I wasted both of my shurikens. I keep missing right now. My aim is trash. There we go. That hits. Nope. I found out of control. What kind of enemy are you? Okay. Should we try to negotiate with them? No, oh, I've already tried that. I'm like the architect. I like to exhaust the diplomatic solutions before sending in the killer cyborgs. What did they say? They said, the holy light of the machine god shall burn away your corruption. Is there so, I sent in the killer cyborg. Good call. Yeah. What was that? I hit my head on something? What, what happened? I see. No shot! I didn't beat him to that. Oh my god. God, I hate religion. Why? I hear you ask. Did you just say I hate religion? It's a big wubble of a dub dub moment. Religion doesn't stop bad people from doing bad things. But oh fuck. It makes good people do bad things. Oh, yeah, what I land on. Yeah. Oh, huge! Wait! Oh. All the way back here. I thought I had like a big skip or something. God damn it. Still salvaged. <gasps> Not again. Huge. Nice. That would have been really tragic to have to do that all over again. Gotcha. Uh oh. Nope. Don't the climbers worship the architect? Worship? We borrow his logo and incidentally avenged him. That's it. Guy was a narcissist with a god complex. Suckers you're offing right now are about the only kind of people naive enough to worship him. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, them and Zoe. 
Man, I can't believe I... Doesn't matter. I really thought that would reach. Let's try that again. I think that will reach. No way! Fuck, it's ruining my good strat. That would have been so much smoother if I didn't keep barely blowing it. Do I go that way? That was close. That's interesting. It only works when you're standing on the beam. Oh. I was too fast for it. Oh, I see. Shit. Wait. Maybe? <laughs> hey! Hang in there. No way. I'm so nasty. Oh my god, that's filthy. How did we miss the church? That was so remarkably we didn't. clean. They told you we had bigger problems than ghost riders. Avoided disaster. This still is one of those problems. Still cleaned everything up. <laughs> Love to see it. Oh. Yeah. Del, you can split yourself, so this is a dead end. Look around. Maybe there is some other way. I'm assuming I need to push something here to block it, but what if I'm just fast enough? No, no, no. What's this? The shadow skill. Hologram of Jack, and I turn invisible. Another new ability. Can I switch them on the fly? Yep. Of course I can. This is a good game. We get to get crazy with it. You mentioned something about me not being able to split. Nice one, Panini. That should do the trick. Nice. Thanks, the reset, Oxy. Whoops, misclick. How long does he stay there? Forever? I guess until I turn him away. Shit, I didn't do it fast enough. Yeah. Everything in this game just feels so good. Bang. There's we'll no need to hold on to what weighs you down. The old world is gone. The key master is gone. And so are the shackles that bound you. The only thing standing between you and transcendence are your attention. No! Okay. I was going a little too crazy with that, to be honest. Transcendence are your attachments. Let go. Unlucky? Let's try that same strat. Oh, I missed it.
Oh, it's on cooldown. Whoops. I couldn't get my way back up. Do these share cooldowns? So if I do this, no, they don't. Well, actually, they might during combat. I'm not sure. Leave behind fear and suffering. Leave behind greed and a need for Leave behind greed and a need for control. Leave behind your ego. Is that him? No, no, no. I grabbed the wrong thing. I still have my ult. I barely use. Oh, I see. I took too long. Make it. Let us become one. It. Let us cast off the prison of flesh. The truth awaits inside. Jokes aside, this does sound much more woo woo than Adam ever did. What? <laughs> what okay, we take that. Wasn't how they intended, but whatever. How'd I miss that? And I missed twice. Go. Looking very clean. Okay, right up until right there. Not like that. There isn't. Thanks, name, and thanks for the gift sub, Lambo. I keep doing that. I can just swing, I don't need to do like the full dash for it. A pariah has sunk the basilica with his presence. Shit. I don't know how I could have escaped that. I'd rather not. I'd rather not. Stop the fallen one before he desecrates the altar. Better what? Hurry up. I missed that. Better hurry up. Let's yeah, this one first. The shit out of it. Tear the fallen one to pee. 
tear the fallen one to okay. pieces. This is quite a zone here. Oh my god. His head and bring it unto There's my a lot light. of shield guys. So it I keep somehow missing that. This seems a bit intense, but okay. What? This seems a bit intense, but okay. What the okay. fuck? At least we know he's not a recording. Oh my god. Yeah. At least we know he's not a recording. Protect the altar. Keep the fallen one away God. from me. I gotta stop doing that. I just need to swing here because I keep missing the boost. What do you mean? That's not really like a second of the game. Oh. There's no like rail shooting per se. It's just there's sections where you can do the rail if you want. Oh, I thought I had to use the shuriken to stop that. I'm just going a little too fast, but I did see this down here, so it worked out. This is your goal. If anything happens, I should be able to join you. I'm going in. Please use of HGH. Welcome back, number 74. Who are you? I am your maker, and you are my creation. Have you forgotten what we've been through? Or did you think you were rid of me? That I would just vanish into thin air because you wished so? I know you're not him. Who are you? I am the man behind the curtain. And you shouldn't have. Thanks for the resub, Forza. Good game so far. Great game so far. That was a bit of a rough one. I, I played that one like shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one wasn't very good. I blew that one. <sighs> I, I was sloppy. <clears throat> Wait, I'm a little confused on what you mean by that, fools. What the hell? Zoe? Kira? Jack. What's going on? I can't pull you out. He trapped you in there. Are you okay? I guess I'm going to look around. Being such a bitch. Oh god. Okay. Alright, I can't just charge them. I guess I need the portals. I mean, I guess I can charge them if I do this first. Close. Can I deflect on these guys? I should be able to, right? Yeah, 
There we go. Okay. Hey! Hey, 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 Buster. I mean, this kind of works here. I don't think it's the intended method, but it's getting the job done. Oh, this is so much faster just to deflect. I mean, these things are so slow anyway. No way. No fucking way. You little bitch. This bastard! <laughs> God damn it! He's ruining my good time here. A laser too? Every okay. Must have tapped my toes there because I, I really thought I was over that. Okay, I have to crouch under that. Thanks for that distance. No, not like this. Oh! Oh! Where am I? I almost salvaged that. I accidentally turned changed it twice. Your threat. I'm in rhythm now, so we should be good. Jack, listen to me. He's definitely a ghost runner, but not a regular one. He's not just a user here. He's got complete control Whoa. over the network. Any ideas? Find me time. Stay alive. Oh, close. Took down the architect. I will take you down. You took the AI by surprise. You used its hubris against it. But I shared none of its Oh. But I shared none of its flaws. This is a fucking wild fight. Well, it's not much of a fight. It's more just like a uh, adventure here. Feels like something almost out of Sonic. The labyrinth will wear you down. Break down your spirit. It will keep eating away at your psyche until you are able to keep moving. Until you want to. Hold on. 
by you. I managed to pin him down for a moment. <laughs> I managed to pin him down for a moment. If you reach his eyes, you'll be able to fight back. Reach his eyes, huh? Easy. This will help you. I'm not even physically here. This is such a you fucking beautiful game. Yourself. You can't harm me. You don't have any power either. Surrender now. Don't think I can't hear you talk to them. It's okay. No one can help you here. There is no escape. It's just Whoa. you and me. And I'll make you And I'll weird. make you pay. For your actions. Oh, I thought, oh God, I thought I was supposed to go into his hand. Uh, I'm just gonna fall off, it'll be easier. It'll be a little faster. I didn't see this one here. There we go. I'm in his eyes now. Ish. Almost there. Almost eye level. No clue how. Got access. You're right. I don't. May you be free at last, Number. Got him. Got him with that Norton antivirus. A John McAfee from Beyond the Grave. Couldn't if I wanted to. I just kicked him out of his own server. You need to jack out and find his hardware before he realizes what happened. Got it. Banned. <laughs> yeah. There's got to be Back a storage band. device, at least a drive or something. It's not a drive. Yeah, we, okay, that's fine. Yeah. Wasn't clean from me. I know. I know. I, I, I made a lot of mistakes. The all spark. Yeah, I guess kinda. Alright. I'm getting kinda tired. I think I'm gonna call it a night. We'll play more tomorrow. Alright. Thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate the generosity. New subs, welcome aboard. Have a great rest of your evening, everybody. Thanks again. I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good night. And thanks, Victor. Have a good night.